What's up, good people? Welcome to Garage Week. Well, what is Garage Week? It's just a bunch of videos that I like to put together when I'm doing something that has to do with my garage, like riding, um, fixing some of my cars, and all that good stuff. But let's talk about something more fun today. So I haven't been on this bike in a minute, right? So um, was it too? No, last Sunday. So last Sunday, I decided for the first time in a very long time because I've been busy to just go and enjoy some wind therapy. And um, I rode all the way. So I live on the south side of Atlanta, right? I rode all the way up north. And um, on my way back, uh, something that had never happened to me on a motorcycle before happened. Um, I had a flat. My red tire uh, came flat. And so uh, I almost fell off the bike noticing that. But then I pulled over and I checked it out. And um, there was a huge, like, a wide hole in the rear wheel. So I couldn't ride it back home. And I was still, like, oh, approximately 50 minutes from the house. So I had to call for help and um, tow my bike back home because that happened on a Sunday, I couldn't immediately go to shop. So today, what I what I want to do is um, load it up on a trailer, right, and uh, take it to the guys at Wild Motorcycles here in Marietta, in Atlanta, in the Atlanta area, and have them change it up for me. So I also did buy a set of new tires, which is this guy. These are, these are shinkles, right? Yeah. So these are Shinkos, all right, 240, 40, 18s, because it's a little wide on the back. I, I, I have a 240 kit in the back. So I bought these, and um, these are the Advance, the Shinko Advance. So I'm gonna use that to replace my rear wheel. And um, so we're gonna have to get a trailer, and then um, load this guy up on the trailer. Man, loading this thing up on the trailer with a flat, is the most difficult thing I've ever done this year. Like, just to roll it out, so my bike usually sits right there, just to roll it to this position, took me forever, I couldn't do it. So, that's gonna be a challenge. So load it up on the trailer, tie downs, and then get it to these guys, and have them change this tire for me. So, you guys are gonna be a part of this whole process, right? <laughs> you guys are gonna be a part of this whole process watch me do this because uh, this will probably be the third time in the history of me riding a motorcycle that I'm gonna have to put it on a trailer this will be the third time ever the first time I think the shop actually tied it down for me the second time was on Sunday when I had to tow it home and today will be the third time man. I, I can't mm -hmm. I don't look forward to it because I can tie my bike down for nothing even if I was paid for it but today Somehow I'm gonna have to figure it out again like I did on Sunday. So enough of the talking, let's get out of here, go get a, a trailer, we'll get up to the SUV and um, we'll see how today. Okay, so we have this hooked up to the SUV and we're gonna go load up the bike. So, we're over here at Wild Motorcycles. Let me walk back a bit so you see the sign. Uh, so we're over here at Wild Motorcycle. Dropped off the bike. And um, good news, they just informed me that um, I can get my bike back in an hour. So I'm not, I guess I'm not dropping it off. Um, so technically, I brought it by for them to um, replace the red tires, uh, install the new shinkos I bought, and then I'm gonna load it back up on the truck and then take it home. So good thing I don't have to come out here again within the week. But the trailer is just, um, it's just empty right now, as you can tell, the trailer is empty. And um, don't mind my little boy, but the trailer is empty now, uh, waiting on them to get it done, and then we'll be back on the road, guys. So I'll probably do a video of them loading it up uh, as promised, but for some reason I didn't capture. I didn't want people to see my struggle to get it on the trailer, but uh, I'll probably do a video now because I'm going to have people loading it up. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys soon. Booyah. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Tires all done. Booyah. Got the brand new tires, man. Time to haul back home. See, my plates fell off, so I need to get a new one. But I think this time around, I'm gonna do the side ones. So guys, that is one thing done, or that is one problem solved from my little incidents uh, that happened recently. Uh, if you watch from the start of the video, you hear me say I had a little incident where my red tires kind of blew up on me uh, on my way home from uh, the first ride after a long time. But that happened on a Sunday, so uh, finally I have it changed to the new one. I wish I could do this myself, but I can't, but hey, it's all part of the fun, right? So um, I finally have it changed. I had the guys um, roll it up on the trailer. They didn't even taught me a new style to tie it down without the cadence or candle dance out or something. And uh, I think that's pretty neat. So I'm gonna start using that if I don't have a need for it. Um, so the other thing that I need to that I need to fix, it's my license plate. So I do have a new one from the DMV because I lost the old one. I think somehow that fell off. Maybe it happened at the same time I was having my tires blown out. I, like, I don't even know for the life of me. But my life, I did lose my license plate in that same incident. And um, so I went over to my DMV. Just so you know, if you ever lose a license plate, please get a police report from your city because um, I didn't know this, right? So I had to go back to the police station um, and then I was able to get a police report so, and then I went back to the DMV and they gave me a brand new uh, plate. As a matter of fact, I believe, I believe I have it here. So, yeah, so they gave me a brand new plate. Um, so, I'm yet to install this on the back because uh, I really don't want to put it in the back anymore because, so, because it just, it touches, it, so it's, the bike is lowered so every time I hit like bomb in high speed or whatever, it touches the tires, right? I think it contributed to uh, the old one getting lost and the tires having issues. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna order a peg mounted side um, plate hanger or something holder. I think the guys at All Things Chrome, I found 
a black black knight on, on there and it just sits on the peg. Uh, so I'm gonna order those today and uh, as soon as those come in, we'll have it installed on a bike and then I'm gonna pull back my plates. So I guess I won't be riding for a little while. Well, it's almost winter, right? So, but there you go, guys. Um, please, 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 always, always, safety first. Always do things the right way, you know, because I did notice before now that this, the old, the old plate, like kind of scrubs on the tire every time I hit a bump because I hear it, right? And then when I look on, uh, like trying to clean the bike, and then I look at it, I see all the scuffs and marks on the thing. And it, rather than just finding a permanent solution, I would tilt it upwards, thinking I was solving the problem, but I really wasn't solving the problem. Uh, I was creating more damage. I ended up losing that tire and all that crazy stuff and um, having to do all this extra work, you know, pulling it, getting a new set of tires, you know, and all this other stuff. I could have saved myself all that money and uh, time, you know. But so safety first, please guys, uh, it's very important because I could have fallen off my bike when it had like poof on me on the road, like it started wobbling, you know. I could have just fallen off the bike, but thank God, um, all of that didn't happen and I wasn't going so fast when it actually happened. So, safety first guys, I can't say it enough. Make sure, look at the bike, if anything is wrong or looks out of place. Try to get that fixed as best as you can, you know, to give you a better uh, chance out there. You know, that's one mistake I made and for someone that has been in um, for so long, I, I shouldn't be making such mistakes, right? But, uh, the human factor in all of us right so please 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 and please again be safe out there guys so that's my little video for the day my little project <laughs> for today you know uh, as soon as this comes in i'll make another video on um trying to install it i've never done that one before i'm sure it's pretty easy just losing some bolts on the exhaust and throw it on i think that's how it's going to be but uh, we'll, all, we'll all learn together right that's the whole idea so until the next time be safe out there, riders. Right?